What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about substrate. What is the best kind for your turtle tank? What is its purpose? And kind of just the pros and cons of the different options that you have. Let's get to the bottom of this. Get it? Bottom as in substrate is the stuff at the bottom. Anyway, so I guess the first question that we have to answer is what is substrate. So quick definition if this is your first time keeping a turtle or I guess even fish. Substrate basically refers to whatever material or substance that is sitting on the bottom of your tank. Basically just the ground and whatever makes up the ground. Now obviously when you set up an aquarium or in our case perhaps a turtle tank you basically just start out with a glass tank there's nothing already there to cover that surface of glass and so that's where substrate comes in and the reason that we have substrate is majorly because it just looks better. It looks more natural. It's more natural for the animal inside there to have something covering the bottom of the tank that adds texture and color and depth and kind of just dimension to the tank. And because it usually has some kind of texture, it also helps hide the waste. And then the other purpose of substrate is it provides surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow on. If you know about the nitrogen cycle, you know that beneficial bacteria helps break down the waste in the tank. So that's another reason substrate is really important. Now this is mostly the same in both turtle tanks and fish tanks. Substrate is for aesthetics, it hides waste, and it gives surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow. The difference mainly being that turtles tend to be curious and can actually eat substrate and then in fish tanks, you sometimes use that substrate to also give plants a place to take root and get nutrients from. So that's kind of the biggest difference between when thinking about substrate for a turtle tank and substrate for a fish tank. Now, why wouldn't you have live plants in a turtle tank? That's a topic for another video. I've never had success with it. And so for that reason, we'll just be focusing on turtle tanks that are not trying to grow plants in the substrate because that introduces a bunch of other factors. So there are a couple of different options that you have when it comes to picking out a substrate for your turtle tank, namely gravel, tile or bare bottom, river rocks slash pebbles, sand, and as a bonus, we'll also throw in crushed coral. So we're gonna go through that list kind of from the worst to the best but also kind of just like there's really only one bad option in my opinion and one option that I prefer. So let's just start with what I think is the worst and should really never be used in turtle tanks and that is gravel. Gravel is arguably the most common substrate you'll see people getting for fish tanks because it's sold in pet stores, it comes in many different colors, it's typically a universal well-rounded substrate that works really well in a lot of situations and it also looks pretty natural because of the size of the gravel and so a lot of people like it for the look it's just really really easy to use but the reason that I discourage people from using it for turtles specifically is because of that size you can see here perhaps maybe a little bit in my hand I have some Seahawks colored gravel from a fish tank I owned way back when. Don't ask me why I still have it. I don't know why I haven't thrown it out, but as you can see, the size of this, it would look really nice in a fish tank, but the size is also pretty ideal for a turtle to decide to eat it because this can fit perfectly into a turtle's mouth. It's about the same size as their food and turtles, well, they don't know that eating gravel could potentially be dangerous to them. And that's where we run into issues. Turtles will be curious, nose around the substrate, and potentially ingest this gravel, which can then get stuck in their digestive system and cause impaction, which is very, 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 very bad. If their insides get blocked up, that could result like in serious, serious issues if they can't get it out, and oftentimes death. So it's really, really serious. Because of this risk, I don't encourage that people use gravel. So it's just not a good deal. It's easy for this to get stuck. It's easy for a turtle to eat it. And so because of that, I really don't recommend using gravel in turtle tanks. Okay, so now with gravel out of the way, let's talk simple tile or bare bottom. Here you can see a nice large chunk of tile I was thinking about using in my axolotl tank which actually currently has a tile bottom but the benefits of using tile or bare bottom is that as you can see the surface is very smooth so waste shows up on it pretty easily and it's also very easy to clean because there's no other particles you have to worry about sucking up and no little crevices or anything where the waste can settle. Now you do have to note that with tile waste can actually get underneath 
the tile so that's something you'll have to periodically clean but again it's still a lot easier to keep up with maintenance on a tank that is bare bottom or using tile that is the main reason some people will choose to use this substrate however because it is just like this smooth slick surface on the bottom no texture it doesn't look all that natural so it's not for everybody another thing to note with tile specifically is that you will likely have to cut it to size or find someone to cut it or just buy small enough pieces that it can fit comfortably in your aquarium because for the most part tiles are not standardly the size that would naturally fit in an aquarium so that's just something to think about next up we've got river rocks river rocks are an option that a lot of people use for turtles because it kind of has that same naturalistic look as gravel but you get them so that they are bigger size stones this is probably like the smallest i would go with for my four inch turtles and because they're large enough these are not going to be eaten and they look pretty natural now some people choose to go with like a smaller river rock like this or a larger river rock like this. The idea is that it just needs to be bigger than the turtle's head so that they won't be able to eat it. So those are the benefits to this. The drawback is that because these rocks are bigger, it also means there are larger gaps where the waste can get stuck. So cleaning out a tank with river rock can be a bit of a hassle because you'll want to kind of just mix up the river rock so that it brings the debris out of the little crevices. However, it is a great option if you like the look of it. All right, so the next substrate option is my preferred option and that is sand so sand just looks really really good the grain size is small enough that typically even if the turtle did eat it it would be able to pass it through and once you have it in the tank it's relatively easy to clean because the debris tends to just sit on the top now the hard thing about sand is that you really have to buy the right grain size. Now, if you just buy it at the pet store, usually that kind of sand will be fine. But if you're trying to source it somewhere else, you want to make sure that this sand is not like super duper powdery or super duper fine because an issue you might run into is that that sand is so fine that it's constantly clouding the water or even worse, those little particles are getting into your filter and grinding down that impeller, which is the motor that kind of helps the water flow through that filter. That's a problem that I ran into when I used play sand. So that's just something to keep in mind. But other than that, I love the look of sand and there's a lot of different types that you can go with. So that's my substrate of choice. Now, as a bonus, I'm going to add in crushed coral. Crushed coral is a specific substrate used kind of for a specific purpose. Now, in the fish world, World, it's used to raise pH harden water a lot of times it's used with like cichlids and stuff but with turtles really the only time you'd use it is with a diamondback terrapin now diamondback terrapin specifically can use this substrate because at first glance it's kind of like gravel the particulate size is a little bit bigger however diamondback terrapins actually have these specialized crush plates that allow them to chomp on that and break it up so that they can actually eat it i have seen hoku eat this on multiple occasions it's actually what inspired me to do this video again and I've actually seen him pass it as in poop it out completely fine it just came out as little small pieces so he's able to crush it and eat it it's great because it helps wear their beak down so that's a little bonus for you if you have a diamondback terrapin crushed coral can also be another substrate option but only for diamondback terrapins because they're able to break it down all right so now you have all the options laid out to you you could pick anything from river rock to bare bottom to sand, whatever your preference is. I just wouldn't recommend gravel, but where do you actually buy substrate? Obviously, all of those can be found at the pet store and then the tile can be found at a hardware store. You can buy river rocks also at the hardware store or a gravel yard if you're trying to fill up like a bigger tank. And with sand, like I mentioned, there's a lot of different types you can use. So if you don't wanna buy something at the pet store, I highly recommend pool filter sand. I love the grain and the color of pool filter sand there's also black diamond blasting sand which is like eight bucks for a 50 pound bag that can be found at tractor supply co that also looks really nice if you want black sand if you look like on forums and stuff some people recommend play sand i used play sand previously in one of my turtle tanks i just didn't really like the look of it it was kind of gray it didn't really fit what i was looking for but that is also another option once you have your substrate in hand you just want to make sure you prepare that properly before putting it out in your fish tank typically that means at least rinsing it 
it off or rinsing it through. So for instance, sand can be really, really cloudy if you just dump the bag directly into the tank. So I recommend putting it in a five gallon bucket, running a hose with water to agitate it, and then only adding it to the tank after that water in that bucket runs clear. Otherwise, it's a cloudy mess that lasts for ages. So rinse out your sand. Same thing with river rock. I think it's a good idea to rinse it off. If you are collecting rocks from the wild, then you'll want to try your best to sterilize those. You can use hydrogen peroxide. You can use really, really hot water, but it's definitely a good idea to at least rinse whatever substrate you plan on using before adding it to the tank. So that is your mostly comprehensive guide to turtle tank substrates. If you have any additional questions or thoughts, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. Huge shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon who help make this content possible. Turtle Tribe, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to join that tribe and get access to early videos and all kinds of other fun perks, you can check that out by visiting my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye-bye.